So some super secret things you didn't know you could do on your Fire Stick, Fire TV. First up, let's say you can't find your remote control anymore. Well, did you know you can actually pick up your phone or maybe you can talk to another Amazon device in the house and just say, where is my remote? Let me try to make your first remote control room. This could take up to 30 seconds. And now my remote control is buzzing, telling me exactly where it is. Uh, let's cancel that out. So you can now easily find if your remote has gone behind the couch or under the couch or your dog has run away with it super easily by just using your voice. Next up, did you know you can actually make your Fire Stick tell you if your VPN has dropped or crashed or just not connected. Now you can see behind my head, we have a visible indicator. And when that indicator is red, that means for whatever reason, my VPN has crashed, or maybe I'm not currently running a VPN. Now for the people that take their privacy very seriously, and they do more or less all of their activities on their streaming device with the VPN activated, this is something that you'll definitely find useful. Now the way we can confirm it's working, let me now start my VPN. I'm using IPVanish. Now we can see as soon as I make a connection on the top right, we can see that red warning sign now changes to a more pleasant green. And this just tells me without opening up my VPN, because of that indicator, I know my VPN is running. That way I can hide my online activity. I can stay anonymous online and basically just protect my privacy. So how can we get this? Well, the application, a free application, which allows you to get this, is the VPN privacy dot. Now to get this on all of your devices, all you need to do is just open up Downloader and type in this special code, which is just 678183. Let's type that in, 678183, and click on Go. And this will take you directly to the developer's webpage where you can now download this application directly onto your device. Here we are, so we can click on the big red button here, download that to your device, you can then start the application, very easy to use, has some basic options where you can specify where you want the indicator, the indicator transparency, the size of the indicator, if you want to go for a moving indicator or a blinking indicator, all those options are built in directly into the application, super easy to use. And again, for somebody that really wants to maximize their privacy, I definitely recommend checking out this free application. Next up we have, how can we quickly tell the status of our remote control with regards to the battery? And most of you probably know that you can just go to the settings, you can go to remotes and Bluetooth devices. I can see my Amazon remote there. If I click on that, we can see it says battery okay. I mean, that's okay on a general level, but if I want specific information, like what is my actual battery percentage, how can I do that? Well, depending on your device, here I'm on the 4K Fire Stick, you can just use the developer tools menu by going to the search. Let's now type in developer tools. This is a free application built in. I can now select the developer tools menu. This is what it looks like, let's open that up. This gives you some more advanced features. We can see in the background, we can see our CPU utilization, our memory utilization, but there on the top right where it says REM, that's actually telling me exactly what my current battery level is on my remote. And we can see on my device, my remote, this one here is currently at 85%. So a great for you to get the specific information so you know the exact state of your batteries. I don't think many people know this. In fact, do leave me a comment below and let me know if you knew that you could check the status of your battery, of your remote control by using the developer tools menu. Now one bonus tip with this application is it can also show you video information. Sometimes people are worried that they're watching their favorite streaming application they are thinking they're watching a 4K movie or a 1080p movie, but maybe the quality looks bad. How can I actually confirm what is the quality of the movie or the video stream I'm watching? Well, if I turn the advanced options on, that's now done. And what this now means is anytime I play a video in any application, we'll see a small pop-up giving us the exact information about the video codec, the video quality, the video bitrate, and also the resolution. Let's test that out. If I press the home button, we can see now if I go over to, uh, let's just try um, Netflix, and we can see now when I play a video, 
we see all the information, we can see exactly it's using the AVC codec, we can see the resolution, and we can even see the frame rate. So a great way for you to confirm exactly the quality, the bitrate and resolution, and other information about the audio codec on all of the content that you're currently watching. Next up, we have using AI artificial intelligence to find what you can watch on your device. Now to access the secret feature, we can just use our voice and say, what shall I watch? This will now look at a couple of different factors, your locations, the applications installed, the stuff that maybe you're interested in. And based on that, it will create a special watch list or playlist of movies, TV shows, even live TV that you might be interested in. We can see Amazon will now show you some live content, some on-demand content that can enjoy directly from the home screen. So if you are stuck and you're not sure what to watch, you can now ask your friendly home assistant and you'll then be able to see the content here. I'm not sure why it's not showing the thumbnails or the banner tiles for these, but I can now click on any of these and access that content directly. Let's go back. Next up, we have home cinema and who doesn't like home cinema having that surround sound? Or did you know you can actually use your Fire Stick or Fire TV and pair with other Alexa home devices, your Echo Shows, your other speakers and use them for surround sound. And this feature is actually built in directly into your device. All you have to do is go over to your settings, go to display and audio, and we can see we have the option Alexa Home Cinema. Let's click on that. We can see pair compatible speakers with Fire TV for immersive sound. I don't have anything compatible, but if you press the select button, this will now scan the rest of the devices on your home network and any compatible devices it finds, it can then pair them up into home cinema, allowing you to enjoy that immersive surround sound. So a couple of those helpful secret tips, I'm sure you didn't know all of them. Do leave me a comment below if you knew all of them or some of them or which ones you didn't know. Also another tip, if you are looking for the easiest way to change your virtual location, change your IP address, hide your online activity, Right now, there is a super special offer directly from IPVanish where you can get an exclusive discount to get the best privacy to securely access all of your favorite streaming services, your third party streaming applications to get all of that on a super fast VPN where you can use unlimited devices, maximum speed, unlimited bandwidth to get that at just over three dollars a month. I definitely think this special offer is worthwhile checking out. It does help support the channel. So many thanks if you want to do that. Do have a look in the video description and pinned comment for that special discount link. Do leave me a comment below. Let me know what you think about this video and I'll hopefully catch up with you guys real soon. Thanks.